Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be hopping back on in to some factory tech. So let's get things going. All right, guys, so I got everything set up, and we're going to head right back into factory tech, and we're going to get uh, a few more things done here. Um, I did want to go over, I went ahead and made my uh, work suit because I can't be playing with this mod if I am not properly clothed. I, I would not want to uh, accidentally drop something on my feet and not have my stilto shoes on. So, as you can see, I'm wearing my stilto shoes, I'm wearing some work pants, and I'm wearing a um, visible vest, and I also have my hard hat on. And of course, my recording equipment. As always, I, I cannot do these videos without my recording equipment, so that is a plus. All right, I do have cat ears, though. I don't understand what mod is uh, putting the cat ears on me. It's probably the same mod that gives you the googly eyes. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so that's something that I've, I've been working around. Um, all right, so I got all these set back up. I went ahead and got all the uh, extra things. I did realize that if you put an eye, a piece of iron in the cutting machine, you actually get basic gear. So you don't have to use, once you have the cutting machine, you don't have to use four gears uh, or four pieces of iron to make one gear. You can just use one iron to make a gear, which is a lot easier and a lot faster. Um, also, I went ahead and completed all of the build craft pipe stuff and got uh, all of that done. So, uh, we might touch on this today. I have the materials and stuff. The crafting recipes are very simple. Um, it's literally two pieces of the material that it's mentioned and a piece of glass, and that's it. So two pieces of wood, glass, uh, two blocks of clay, glass, um, and, and gold and iron and so on. So pretty easy to get those things set up. Today, we're gonna try and get through as much as this as possible. I know there's still a lot of stuff here. If we kind of zoom out a little bit, it makes it a little easier to see. Um, but we have this uh, mechanically melting, which is a crucible, which says it allows you to melt glowstone. So I'm guessing it wants us to do that. So we need to see um, how much it's going to cost to get uh, glowstone going. So, crucible. Here it is. Okay, so this is obsidian with nether brick um, and a heating element. And that's some stuff I actually don't have. Um, surprisingly, I did not even look at it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, getting obsidian, though, is not that hard. So we'll take our efficiency. I have one obsidian. I have a bucket, of course. And we have constant, like, we have ability to get tons of uh, lava here. And obsidian, so I'm not too worried about that. Let me try and get this as best I can. Oh, I forgot to use vein miner. But yeah, vein miner definitely helps. There we go. We get both of them. Okay. So we have that part done. Uh, we need nether brick, which is going to require some cooked nether rack. Actually, eight exactly. I don't think I have anything else for that recipe. Uh, I need a heating element, which I can easily get. And it's probably going to require a heating element inside of it. So there's going to be a few things that we're going to have to go do on top of all of this. Which is, eh. I did collect some uh, of the uh, my animals over here, so hopefully more will spawn and I might get a pig. If I could get some pigs, that would be nice. Or even more chickens. That's another thing that would be nice. Also, somebody mentioned going to the nether and getting those quartz chickens um, early on. and uh, Which I totally agree. I will be doing that soon. Um... I totally forgot about that, but yeah, they'll drop quartz instead of dropping e I mean, they'll drop eggs and stuff as well, but, um, they'll, well, actually, I don't know if they drop eggs. Uh, I don't remember, but I do know they drop quartz at a uh, pretty slow rate, but they still, they drop quartz, so can't beat that. All right, so there's our nether brick. All right, and I think we have everything else up there, which is going to help. Okay, so I need... A few of those, and a standard wire, I think, to make the uh, heating element. Ah, oh, it's redstone, which I have that as well. So yeah, I tried to make a little area up here so we could have more room because I just I know we're gonna be spending a we're gonna use a lot of room on these machines, and I mean a lot of room. Um, we don't actually have to dive too deep into this mod. If you look, if I look here underneath uh, this, the basic factory, and then to get here. What we need is um, 
the machine upgrade overclockers, and we need 64 of them, it's not actually that... Like, we could get away with it with just these machines right now. Um, so if we take a look at the overclockers, it is gold dust, which we have access to gold dust, and those quartz plates, which... Um, we take a look here, block of quartz equals six quartz plates. And we could have this done, and wood, and that's it. You know, so we would only need 64 quartz plates, which we would need 64 quartz. Or uh, not 64 quartz, 64 times four. And then we could, uh, well, actually, no. We get six apiece, so we would just need a bit of quartz, and uh, we would be fine. So that is a thing. But I do want to continue pushing on through uh, this these mod, like uh, this mod, because this is a interesting mod. Um, I'm actually intrigued by it, and I want to learn it. So you never know; it may pop up in future packs, and maybe something new that uh, I need to worry about. Okay. So I think with this thing, it would automatically smell. You could, you have this auto input here. The side right here means uh, you can have a conveyor belt, and it would go right into that machine. I'm kind of curious on what I need to do with this. So I knew it was going to require a heating element, but I don't know what that cross thing is. It's a mixing. It requires nickel or nickel. It requires nickel, which, by the way, I'm working on nickel um, down below. I'm working on getting some of that uh, made up because we are going to need quite a bit of it with this mod. This mod like consumes it like it's nothing. All right, what is that? Is this from factory? No, that's from something else. All right, so here's our mixing blades, and then we also need another one of these things. So we need some more of that uh, copper nickel mixture, and I don't think I have enough. Oh, I do. It only requires three. Okay, so I can throw that in there. Throw that in there, and now we can supposedly throw glowstone in here. And it'll heat up. I don't know how much it actually does. Okay, so I see we have a little bit coming or going in there. Okay, it's kind of interesting. Looks like this tank holds 10 buckets worth of fluid. I don't know, I guess one glowstone equals a hundred mill buckets. Seems about right. So that'll allow us to get one bucket of How do we get it out? So the liquid's there. I guess we'll we'll have to get a pump or something like that that'll talk about later, I'm guessing. I don't know, but we have that done. So let's go back into the factory and move on to making circuits. Okay, I think we need to pour. Okay, so the circuit scribes, uh, a scribe allows you to etch patterns onto quartz plates. All right, and we need to make uh, different patterns on our quartz plates. Oh, fun, fun. Okay, so circuit scribe. We're kind of getting to the advanced stuff. And this requires more of this this metal here. And I'm surprised it doesn't show like a different way. Um, I mean, it needs copper and nickel. That's about it. Um, we already have some pulverized copper. I don't want to use this machine too much because it does break. Uh, we do have uh, better methods of doing this. I know I should stick with the mod itself, but eh. Alright, so the crusher is not that hard to make. And I think that's going to be a better option. Or we can even do the double crusher. I think we'll stick with the regular crusher. Um, and this is just going to help. This is going to help us a lot. So I have all the stuff, I'm sure. There's all the redstone. Black quartz. Um, 
I need a little bit of wood. And we should be able to make this thing. Flint and cobblestone. There's the crusher. Uh, not furnace. Coal generator. So I'm also going to need this as well. We just need cobblestone, right? And two charcoal, which literally just standing right there, we'll, we just got tons of it. Perfect. Okay, so we got all that. And this is going to make getting that metal a lot easier on us, so that way we don't have to sit there and bother with it. Put that there. Crusher. Pop that in there. Awesome. And we can get copper ground down. And we can also get our nickel <laughs> ground down. That way we don't have to worry this worry about this. Because this right here uh, breaks fairly easy. So we're going to sub the drill grinder for right now out with this for these simple tasks. And I think that would work out just fine. Alright. So, yeah, we're just waiting on this. And then we have that. So there we go. Perfect. Um... Really doesn't require that much to get this stuff going either. Now we can use this to cook it up. I mean, we could use a furnace as well. But we're going to see how well that thing actually works. Alright, and there's our other stuff. And we're going to have to make a ton of this. At least it feels like a ton. There we go. Alright. So, back to what we were making. The circuit scribe. So here's our circuit scribe. It's going to require a block of invar. Now, that's, that's new. Um, invar is iron grit and nickel dust. So, we're also going to need to grind up some iron. And more nickel. I'm also going to put a couple in here. And that'll double the speed, at least until this thing breaks, because, you know, how it works. Uh, so we're going to need at least nine ingots worth. And we're actually making our first, first bit of invar. Yeah, two. We're making our, our first set. So actually, this is a little bit faster than this. Or I'd say a lot faster. But it does break, though. That is a problem. Alright, there's a block. And we have more of those. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this. I'm sure we're going to need another one also for the inside. We're also going to need a cutting blade. As well. I think this makes the... No, this makes the drill. This makes the blade. And just some, some wood. Alright, we have everything but the invar. Oh, we have a broken cable. Um, I wonder, what can, what can we do with this? Okay, so we can get copper nuggets back. No? Oh, if it's melted down, it gives you copper. Okay. So we'll keep that in mind. And we almost have this done. Alright, so there's our invar, and we need to turn that into a block. And voila! Circuit scribe. Perfect. Alright, so I don't know exactly where to place this. 
be honest. Put it there for now. I don't know if this connects to this in some way. Alright, but we, we have our circuits in here. And we're apparently going to need one of each. But as you see, we need quite a few things. Um, we're going to need our nuggets. That includes iron. We're going to need this. Okay, so we're going to need copper wire. We get in that we get that in the cutter. And like I would say that these are not I mean, they're not that slow at making stuff. I mean, they're pretty fast um, by default. I also need another heating element. And I need a blade. There we go. And that gives us everything to get this thing started up. Blade, heating element, that thing. Okay. Oh, we have to actually... Whoa, okay. Now's when we gotta really figure this out. Okay. I don't know how we're supposed to do this. Is my UI supposed to be larger? Let's go to options. I normally don't have it set this way. No, that doesn't make a difference. Huh. Okay, let's uh let's look in here. It says it just allows you to etch patterns onto quartz plates. And these are the patterns you need. Okay. So how do you know what makes what? You don't have enough room to actually make these designs. Hmm. This is a, uh, this is weird. All right, so I'll be back. I'm gonna figure out how to use this and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I went ahead and made the, uh, the guide uh, pretty much for this entire mod. And from what I gathered in here, um, it's under part specification and it's under circuit boards. And it tells you right here how these patterns are supposed to go. The only problem is, yeah, that's right. As soon as you exit the book, um, it doesn't stay on the page, so. And as soon as you leave the machine, it doesn't stay on the page as well. So for these more complicated patterns, like this one, um, it's sort of a memory game, I guess. Because uh, there's only four it shows. So this one, I'm going to have to, I'm going to remember, I'm going to try and do my best to remember this. Okay, and then we're going to get in here. And then I think there was like this. There we go. That that says good. Okay, we got then we put it in there. And then it's going to inscribe that. Okay. So yeah, it's a memory game for for real. It's a, it's a, just a memory game. So there's our first etched guy there. I'm gonna put some stuff away real quick. And I'm sure this is gonna run out of stuff before we get them all done. I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, but I wanted to see. This is one, two, three, four. Okay, there is only four. Okay. 
And then you gotta go back to the parts specification circuit boards and then go to this one. I'm gonna try and remember this one. It's one space away with a center in the middle. Of course you gotta clear it all out. Why wouldn't you? Okay. So if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't remember. Ah, that's right. Just like this. Okay, so, yeah, you have to remember each one of them. <laughs> but luckily after you do one, you could technically have all of these, which actually, that's a pretty nice animation. Uh, you can have, uh, I guess, a four of them automatically set up to what you need and you wouldn't have to do this this one's a little weird it's like a maze okay I'm gonna try and remember it. it's two spaces over is where it starts one space to the side So here, I gotta take a look, another look at it. It's it's like whenever it's not cleared, it messes me all up. Okay, hop all the way to the sides. There we go. There's the other circuit. Oh boy. I bet this is super exciting. Um, because I'm sure a lot of people stumble on this section. Simply because of how uh, non-intuitive it is. But it's it's okay once you figure out how to actually do it. <laughs> if you if you never took a look in the book, if you never have, uh, if you did, did, never made the book, then you would not understand how to do this. Okay. This is two spaces open. Space, 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 touching, touching, touching. I'm going to try and remember it. I have to clear this out, though. I'm not going to remember it. Once I clear it. Mm, this, is a, this is a little bit more difficult. Okay, so a hue, ear, circle with two spaces. And a circle with two spaces. Uh, I, I almost had it. Ah, I almost had it. Okay. I know it I know it now. And that should be our last one. I think. And I, I really don't know what this is all working us up to. Maybe some, like, faster machines or something. Um, I know some of the early stuff is just awesome automation stuff. So, I don't know. I know this is a pretty nice thing. Uh, the magnet centrifuge allows you to separate gravel into iron and nickel nuggets. Okay. So. Uh, now we need to work on the magnet centrifuge. Okay, so this is going to require two of the magnets, which means iron. Just one, to be honest. One iron, that'll give us another magnet, because we already have one. And then we need this, so coppered-filled quartz. So copper and redstone. And we need that on what circuit? On pattern four. Pattern four. 
And then we cook this. And that should give us what we need, right? This guy. We also need a centrifuge. Which doesn't look too difficult. Ah, we lost this guy. The uses for that gives us its, uh, its own items back, though. Which isn't bad. So we can go back here. Make another heating element for this thing. And thus throw this back in there, and it's going to give us three more for that. It's not a bad deal. It would be a lot worse if it was the other way around. Um, okay. We got this. Um, trying to see if I can find it right here. Here's a regular centrifuge. Alright, I already have some gears. Now I'm going to need some plank wood, iron. I think we have almost everything to make this thing. Minus the wires. And a few of the other stuff we need. Um, okay. There's that. And... We have this. And we're just gonna need a couple pieces of wood, right? And that should get us a centrifuge. So there's the regular centrifuge, and then we'll, we're gonna need the magnetic one. So we're gonna need our other magnet. Just like this. And bam, we have the magnetic centrifuge. So this guy, I don't exactly know how he works, but we're gonna figure it out. Oh, it requires... See, that's the thing. You use the items to build it, and then you need more of the items, which is kind of funny. So we need another one of those. I think this actually just requires another magnet, which is not hard to make and more copper wire. So like copper wire is like the main thing that's made here. So there's that. Have that, and we're just waiting for this guy. There we go. Okay, so here is this, so we can feed it gravel, and I can I can use a regular hopper. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we we should be able to feed it some gravel. Oh no! Hopefully, when I land, it doesn't kill me. Nice. Okay, um, yeah, we have gravel. I guess I could just jump off from now on if I want to. All right, so we're gonna put the gravel in here. Do we get something every time? Wow, okay. So this isn't a bad machine at all. We get, we get nickel, iron, flint, I don't really need, but... Wow, wonder how long this actually lasts. That's a lot of, a lot of stuff there. Okay, um, so we got all of that completed today, and we have fluids from the void. That's another thing. Um, the fluid extraction drill simply extracts fluid from the void. In some chunks, it will extract sulfur, um, and in some, propane. So if we get this to extract sulfur, uh, we can have some easy quartz that can be made. Okay, so fluid extraction drill. Uh, this is going to require a pipe. Okay, that's different. Uh, drill bit. This is actually not an expensive item. 
I think I have almost everything on me. Right, I just need uh, this wire. And some more nickel. And then this thing would be pretty cool if it actually does pull out, um, like it says, sulfur. So we need a drill, we need another one of those chips. This time being this pattern. Right? And another motor. So yeah, there's so much stuff in here that, I mean, man. Look at that, 32 iron nuggets, like we just got a whole bunch. Whole bunch of stuff here. Basically free. Gravel is not hard to automate. And then we need to take this and put it onto this. Cook it. And I think that's it, right? Need a drill. So we'll get a drill real quick. And then while that's done, this should be done. There's that bad boy. That. And the drill. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Sulfur. Um. I don't know if that's what I wanted. What can we do with sulfur? Okay, we add sulfur to water, we'll get sulfuric acid inside of this guy, which is going to be something that we're going to be working on next, I assume. Yep. So we're going to need this, and that's pretty much going to allow us to get quartz once we get this guy. Ooh, what do we get? Theater box? Wow, our motor already broke. The only thing we can get out of that is redstone. I think you can make better motors. I don't think you are stuck to using this advanced motor. I think you can use these or the gold motor. I think you can upgrade and there'll be more uses on it. But this is something totally different. Need a compressed chamber. Yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff there. Um, but yeah, that's what is what is this not eaten yet? I I will eat it if I can. Not really hungry yet, but that's extra food. And we got some glasses. So yeah, pretty cool. What else we get? Bouncy plates. Another pitcher plant. That's never a bad thing to have around. And that's about it here. So yeah, this uh this thing gathers sulfuric acid. And the fluid, this thing right here is what you're gonna pump water into. And I'll show you here um, what this is actually used for. You can use sulfuric acid. Take a look at how quartz is made. You can see here, this is what we're inevitably getting to on this section. You can see on the electrolyzer, which is something we're going to get into a little bit later, I can tell, um, it uses sulfuric acid to make quartz. So, um, I guess that would automate the production, like, it's all, like, this whole mod is, like, wants to automate itself. Um, for what, I don't know, like, later on down the road, I haven't really looked at what this mod is capable of doing. But I'm sure there are some good uses. Right now, I'm just learning what, learning what the actual blocks do, um, themselves. And then later on, we can automate it. So that's why I have all these spread out. So I can identify what each one of these blocks do, how they work, how they function properly. That way I can inevitably automate them. Um, but we have to learn about them first. So this is my process of how I'm learning the mod. And I hope you guys are learning something as well. 
Um, if you guys did learn something, please don't forget to smack that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, I also highly recommend you clicking that subscribe button and join 10,000 of us at this point. Join 10,000 of us, man. We are really getting up there. Um, that's kind of awesome. I never thought I was going to say I have 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 of you guys, just like you, watching this video. That's crazy to me. Um, but yeah, we are definitely growing, and uh, that definitely helps whenever you guys do stuff like that. Also, I have a link to Discord down below. If you guys are interested in hopping on the Discord, that is the best way to be notified when I go live, when I do my live streams, which I am streaming almost every day. So, uh, almost every day. Just keep, keep that in mind. Um, I do live stream. And uh, if you want to follow me on Twitch, uh, there's a link down below as well for that. Um, so yeah, just everything's down in the description if you guys want to find all that. Also, I have a Patreon if you guys are interested in checking that out. I do have a Patreon sub server, um, so you guys can uh, definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this, like I said, don't forget to click that subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time, and we will be working with even more factory tech. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.